Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to prepare some game assets in Affinity Designer. So we're going to create 10 skill icons and this is really easy art style that everybody can follow. We're going to use color as a background. This will be like radiant gradient, simple frame that I'm just creating right now on the screen. You can see that I'm creating very, very simple frame. Then one more rectangle to make a background color. After that, I will simply create a main shape, a simple shape for my skill. It will be in white color and I will add effect. It will be glowing. And in addition, I will also create some secondary shape. And the secondary shape will be white, will be blended with the background um, and blur a little bit. All right, so first let me just prepare my artboard. So I got 10 artboards. I pick the size 256 pixels and now I simply duplicate my layout. So I got my frame, little frame and the gradient as a background. I will modify color. So we got 10 different colors. After that, I'm going to start with the main project. So as I mentioned, I'm going to use a very, very easy art style here. So even non-artistic people can follow up and they can create their own icons for the games. So, as you can see, my icons are almost ready here. I got my frames and different backgrounds. So now I can create the icon itself. Start with simple shape like this one. So this is just rectangle. I match them all together. I can scale them up, reposition. And I will use this layer style here so it will be glowing so i'm glowing with white color i will change the blending mode to overlay so we got this nice glowing shape and then i will make some secondary shapes out of it so i could just duplicate the same thing i will change the blending mode of the whole object to overlay and make it blur you can blur the object in the layer style layer effect as well and here it is i got my main shape in the middle and some secondary blur shapes around the icon like this and we got nice healing icon very easy very fast by the way you can download all of the icons from this tutorial the link will be in the description you can use them for free for your games even for commercial projects all right that's not a problem you can download them all the link is in the description just stay with me i'm going to show you how i have created all of them here in this video so the next one this time maybe some skill for a sword again start with simple shape and then modify that shape we got like knife or sword look here a few more white elements so i'm sticking with this white color this way it will be very easy to create more and more icons even if i just going to create 10 for this tutorial but you can use the same template same method to create even more icons if you need them Let's move it this inside the artboard. This way it will be easier to position our objects. You can zoom in. I'm using shortcut to zoom in, control plus and control minus to zoom out. All right. Maybe this one should be a little bit smaller. Then select all and match them together as one shape. Rotation. This is some kind of deadly blow, swing, something like that. So let's rotate this whole sword, the whole knife like this. This is the main shape. As I mentioned, the main shape will get a like, glowing effect. And now I'm going to add a secondary shape as well, using pen tool this time. So I can make a custom shape like this. Add white color here too, but change the blending mode to overlay. So it will blend with the background like this, giving us this glowing effect. I can modify this so we got more like a swing. Something like this. Perfect. All right. For the secondary shape, I need to blur that a little bit like this. That's enough.
And for the main shape, I still need to add a glow around it. So glow like previously and the blending mode for the glow overlay. And here it is. Maybe one more copy of this one. We can add a copy here. All right, so we got this nice swing skill. Very easy art style. Anybody can follow that. All right, icon number three. We got green background here, so maybe some kind of poison. We got ready to use drop tool here, so we don't even need to create that ourselves. Just select the smart shape list, and then you got multiple shapes to use in Affinity Designer. All right, guys. As you can see, the workflow is exactly the same, adding the main shape in the white color with the glow. Don't forget to change the blending mode for the glow to overlay. And then make some additional secondary shapes in the background. I always set up secondary shape to be blur and blending them with background using overlay for the whole layer, like here. Change from normal to overlay and that's it. All right, I'm going to use the same method for the rest of my icons. So enjoy this video and don't forget, you can download all of them. The link is in the description. If you like to learn more about using Affinity Designer or designing game assets in vector programs, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you in the next one.